How's it going, YouTube? And welcome to a new episode of First Timers Tech Edition. And today you have your host, Alvin. Hero's on a little mini vacay, so he's, uh, he's having a lot of fun there. Um, but today we're going to be talking about game streaming. And um, not just any game streaming, but game streaming through your web browser. I know you people are like, what? You can game stream through your web browser? So uh, Microsoft actually um, just launched their Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscription cloud gaming um, through browser support. So that means you can use your Google um, Chrome browser, Google Chrome or our Edge browser. Today I'll be actually showing showcasing it on the Edge browser itself today. So you guys can kind of take a look at that here. And um, I'll show you how, how it's been so far. Um, so far they've, um, from the time I filmed this video uh, 15 days ago, and I'll put that right here. Um, you can kind of see that they actually gave me access to um, their cloud uh, gaming portion on xbox.com. I'll actually show you the full link and I'll have it in the description as well. Um, if you actually want to go and see if you actually have access to it. I know a lot of people are like, do I have access? Um, if you have the ultimate subscription, Go check it out. See, it doesn't hurt. Um, right now, it still is in beta, so just keep that in mind. It definitely is in beta, but um, let's uh, jump over to it, and we'll take a look and see how it's going to work. All right, guys, so as we jump in, we're, uh, again, going to be using the Edge browser, so we're going to xbox.com forward slash en dash us forward slash play. That'll be in the description below, so if you guys want to go and check it out. Make sure that you go and sign into your account. Um, right now we're going to be doing Gears of War uh, 5 here, um, just so you guys can actually understand and see how it's going to play. Um, I just want you guys to be able to actually see that as well. Um, again, most people have played Gears of War and they kind of see how it looks and all that good stuff. So anyway, um, I'm going to be jumping into that. Now, um, if you want to actually go full screen, um, the button uh, key is... Um, F11. Um, I'll press that in a second here just so you guys can see it. Um, but right now I'm just in the windowed section just so you guys can kind of see how it looks here. Um, I just want to make sure that, um, you know, that is just one of those things that you guys kind of get to see um, how it looks in the browser first, you know, without uh, without being in full screen. Then we'll go into full screen um, right now. So F11, boom. And you can kind of see it right there. So you can actually see pressing F11 in and out and boom, you're in full screen. It doesn't even look like I'm playing out of a browser right now. So that is actually very, 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 very amazing. Loving it. Again, I've been doing this for the last 15 days, guys. So I am very excited about it. Um, one of the things that I kind of dislike um, as it's going through the loading screen. And again, the main reason I'm doing the whole loading screen is I want you guys to see uh, how long it takes to load. Um, that's just something that, you know, I know people will be like, well, how long does it take to load? Is it as fast as my Xbox? I'm going to say it's probably as fast as the Xbox One, not as fast as the Xbox uh, X, Series X. But again, as fast as Xbox One, the original Xbox One, not the One X or anything like that. But um, it still feels pretty good. Um, syncing of the data is pretty much straightforward, goes across the boards. Um, again, I was probably getting into uh, what I was saying, uh, being able to play two player games. You can't do that just yet. Um, you know, with two players, I should say. I've tried to connect two controllers, and right now I. It only button maps uh, both controllers as one um, as one player. So I'm trying to figure that out, see if we can do two player games, you know, and you can play with the you know, second player. Um, that would definitely be cool. You know, I can imagine when I was in high school, I will do an original campaign as we're going through. But, you know, being in high school, being able to have your laptop, being able to plug in two controllers and during lunch just playing on your laptop, you know, you don't even have to have, you do not have to have a console. That That's truly amazing. So anyway. As we're jumping into it, I'm kind of been moving around just to see how bad the, the delay was, you know, because that's something that I know a lot of people are probably going to be like, well, how bad's the delay? Um, there's probably, I would say, about a tenth of a second delay from me um, pushing a button or moving the joystick um, over to uh, over to uh, the actual screen. Again, not bad whatsoever. Um, when I'm playing, I probably notice it for the first maybe minute or so. And then as I start to get pulled into the game, I totally forget about it. Now, quality-wise, is the quality 
amazing. Um, right now for a browser, you know, playing out of a browser, I think it's superb. Um, can it get better? Absolutely. So as you see right now, um, it doesn't look as clear. You know, my background was crystal clear. Um, as we jump into here, it's not as clear. Um, the doors don't open as smoothly as you would like. And let's uh, press B. We can skip all this. Um, we can jump into me kind of spinning around and you can kind of see the pixelation just so I can kind of showcase this here um, where you can kind of see it kind of turns into like blocks and pixelates. Um, again, that's usually uh, if there's a lot of things that are going on on the screen, um, it kind of happens. Um, or if you're just moving around too fast, um, I don't I mean to make you guys sick, sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, as you're spinning around, you can definitely see it. But if you're, again, a casual gamer and you're running around, just want to be able to play games and continue um, on things that you probably you know would originally play, then you'd be like, oh, okay, that's kind of cool. Um, but again, you know, yeah, I don't want to call it a screen tearing, but as you can kind of see, um, you get like a little bit of a chop across the center of the screen when I move it around at times. Um, you know, so again, I'm okay if you're somebody that might get a little nauseous from movements and it's not smooth. Um, that could be a problem, but again, for me, I'm doing just fine. I'm pretty much a cat, you know, I, you know, used to game like crazy, but now I just, I feel like I'm just a casual gamer. I jump in to play, to have fun or play with other people. Um, it's just one of those things that I, I just want to jump in and enjoy my time and, and all that good stuff. But um, as we're running around here, you can definitely see it's not 100% smooth yet. Again, this is still beta, but again, I just want to be able to have fun and play a game anywhere. And I'm pretty sure if you're looking at this video, you're probably thinking the same thing. You're probably going, okay, can I actually do this? Now, again, I have a... a yeah, I was invited from um, Xbox, uh, or Microsoft, I should say, uh, about 15 days ago. I got it in my actual, um, in my message, uh, in my, um, my my messages from Xbox. Uh, so they said, yeah, you can uh, jump in and go to xbox.com forward slash play and start to play. And I was like, okay, let's try it. And when I saw it working, I was like, yes, this is awesome. So again, like I said, the last 15 days I've been playing this, so I can kind of let you guys in and kind of say how's it, how it looks and all that stuff. And right now, like I said, in dark areas, you can kind of see it's not perfect, you know, because it's just, you know, you might be moving, you could technically miss something because it pixelates, um, you know, not as bad, but it, you know, there's a pixelation. I would say this is kind of like a, um, think of like a low-end gaming machine right now where I'm able to stream my gameplay and have fun. Um, yeah, I'm not expecting to be first in every first person shooter game I'm going to be playing online, but if I just want to jump on, play, keep myself, um, keep myself warmed up for when I get home from work or anything like that, you can just definitely be able to do that and have some fun. Um, but yeah, like I said, so far it's amazing. Um, graphic shading seems, uh, like I said, pretty decent. It's not, again, a Series X whatsoever. This is cloud streaming. Um, I have a feeling Microsoft plans to make this even better uh, once it comes out of the beta area. So I'm very excited about that here. But again, uh, we'll jump, we'll go over into the kind of like the first battle so you guys can kind of see how everything looks um, in that sense. So you guys can kind of get an idea of if it feels decent. And right now as I move around, it doesn't feel too bad. Um, like I said, there's times where I kind of feel like I let my finger off the uh, off the joystick and it just it moved a little too far just because I was holding on to it and I didn't compensate enough to just be like oh. But um, again, it's it's like I said, this isn't bad whatsoever. Loving it, I am loving it. And if you're hearing this, Microsoft, I do love it. So don't uh, don't get rid of it. Don't don't can it like Cortana. I do I do miss my Cortana already, and yeah, you know, I want Cortana back. <laughs> And I hope when uh, Halo comes out, I hope you guys do something with Cortana. Um, but yeah, anyway, we're um, coming into here, do a kill so you guys see some blood. And the blood animations still look amazing. Um, as we get into shooting animations here, I'll kind of let you guys see how it looks. And like as I'm trying to move it, see, I kind of went a little too far. But again, on my Xbox, if I was playing on my Xbox, I probably wouldn't have had that issue. But again, it's just one of those things that, again, we're, you know, wherever this uh, server farm is and I'm shooting, yeah, or, you know, when I'm shooting here, it has to go there to actually be able to show it and then send me the footage of it back. So, yeah, like I said, it's it's like a, a whole thing. So again, you probably might need better speeds. Right now I do have 300 down and, um, and uh, I think I'm at 60 up right now through Spectrum. Uh, so right now my speeds are very cool and 
and you know it's it's very good but like i said i know there's some people that might only have five uh five down and five up or 25 down and five up uh, so you might see an issue if you have multiple devices online and you're trying to cloud game um, but again when i've been doing this on my phone i really haven't seen any issues where i you know if i'm you know doing something else and downloading something on my phone and playing the game it doesn't feel bad whatsoever so like i said i, I think they figured out a way to um a way to make this feel as smooth as as possible i said as i'm spinning up here um it's still you know it's not perfect but i do like the feel of the game so far now i wish i get you know i wish they allowed two players um because i think this would be really cool to be able to play two players at a time or be able to use Parsec and actually hook up a second controller so you can actually stream your gameplay to somebody else. Um, but I think Microsoft's trying to, uh, you know, they're trying to force people to, you know, have the services and I, I can understand that, you know, it's, they're, they're doing something and they're just like, okay, let's, uh, let's, um, let's make sure people aren't doing that and all that good stuff. But, um, yeah, right now it is amazing. Um, as we're in the dark areas here, um, you know, like I said, if I'm moving too fast, you know, you could miss something in a full dark area if somebody's hiding out, but, um, yeah, so far it looks good. And again, graphically, as I'm shooting this guy here, the blood splatter looks amazing. Um, you know, it's just one of those things that it's, it's going to be a game changer. And I think if Microsoft comes out with a console that's the size of, say, like a, um, say of a, uh, a game streaming or cloud streaming console, we'll say, you know, it's maybe like a four inch by four inch box. I think we might see some big, uh, big things happening for Microsoft and, um, it might, uh, I'm hoping it might change to like Activision and EA and all that good stuff. And they'll be able to uh, work with Microsoft so they can actually bring everybody cloud games. And so this is, like I said, this is amazing. I love the service so far. I'm happy that Microsoft has done this. There are a lot of games. I'm not going to give you guys an exact amount of uh, a number on the games that are in the marketplace because that changes um, every month, if I'm correct. So, um, you know, this month I believe is like 200 and something games. Um, you know, next month it could be 300 or it could be less than 250. You know, who knows? Um, it just, it's, it's up to them on the rights for the games that they have and all that good stuff. But um, I will fast forward here so you guys aren't seeing me you know, do horribly as I'm shooting here, um, to the point where you guys can actually see how I can jump out of this game, and I'll kind of show you how to maybe select another game or even play the other games uh, towards the end here. So let me uh, play a little longer, just because I'm having a little fun, and then um, we'll um, we'll jump out of this. Uh, we'll jump out and show you the rest. All right. So now that we're towards the rest here, I hit the uh, little. Uh, circle the Xbox icon and then I'm moving down with my controller to quit game. So once you quit the game, um, it should bring you up like a little uh, box to ask how everything was. So what did you enjoy? Um, obviously I game today, so we're going to say it feels responsive. Um, the user interface feels good or quick start uh, and short session or whatever you want to put in there. So this is all up to you, casual gaming and then platform, you know, free up TV, quick access, play anywhere boom and submit. So if you are loving it, just let them know because they want to know. Um, now that we're on this page here, we're going to click on, scroll down and see all games. So we can actually go through their whole game library. So if you're a Doom fan, Fallout, Forza, Halo, um, you know, there, there are a ton of games that you can definitely play. And I really uh, hope you guys, like I said, go, you know, come and check this out, especially if you have uh, the Game Pass Ultimate. It is definitely worth having. And um, yeah, like I said, this is something that I've been very excited with and super happy with. So yeah, anyway, guys, if you guys uh, you know, like this video, definitely smash that like. And um, you know, we'll continue going on to different and better uh, things. And I'll keep you guys updated on how the quality keeps uh, upgrading and all that good stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching again. Smash Smash that like, help us out, all that good stuff. Peace. Laters. Woo!